So it's time to take a look at the AMX32, the new big box premium tank platoon. And honestly, I've had a lot of fun with the AMX32. I already did release a video on this vehicle with some very decent battles. And hopefully I'm able to get some decent battles for this video as well. Now, the AMX32 has a 120mm main gun, it's very fast, 65km per hour top speed, the reverse is also 65km per hour, it weighs 4 tons, 4 kilometers, average penetration 480mm, basically the same amount of penetration that we see on the Leopard A1A1L34, and the same, about the same average penetration that we see on the Leopard 2K as well, so it does have a very powerful main gun. The armor, well, obviously in top tier, we don't really look at armor that much, especially against kinetic shells like the AP shells, AP FSDS shells, but it should handle a hit or two. However, I would still avoid getting hit because this vehicle has, as I like to say, no armor. And is that a bad thing? Well, no. It's top tier, literally everything is able to penetrate. Well, with some exceptions, of course. Some of the vehicles, like the Merkava and the TTD and Oifan, for example, do have some decent armor. And more on that when I do drive the, the Oifan, uh, not Oifan, but the TTD and some of the other uh, vehicles. Now, the main gun, as I said before, how accurate it is stabilized, so it's definitely going to be uh, stable while shooting on the move and very easy to aim very easy to overall abuse this uh, this vehicle now we also do, did have a other mx32 which is a classic vehicle and the other mx32 is actually a moder modernized version of this mx a bit better overall but uh, this is the premium version of it so that's also interesting to note the AP shell does do good damage, it also has HEA TFS shells that I usually use occasionally. My primary ammo is and always will be the AP FSDS ammo, the armor piercing fin stabilized disposable habit shell, or, or in short, dart, or as I like to call it, the magic dart. Or in the case of, uh, of the Amex, the pointy baguette, because that's what the AMX is launching from the main cannon. Honestly, gameplay wise, this vehicle feels very close to the Leopard. There are some differences, but the general idea, the general performance, I would say, is what you expect from a Leopard. And if you do like the Leopard, you will probably like this vehicle as well. If you prefer the Leopard to gameplay, uh, you will enjoy uh, this vehicle. As well, what is this uh, Ketanyak Panzer doing here? Oh well, yeah, they they have been dying. Okay, that explains it. And there we go. Of course, I have an, I I have no armor, so uh, auto cannon shells and stuff like that will go through. So you have to make sure that you are uh, showing the thickest part of your vehicle to the enemy. Although honestly, even the thickest part will get penetrated by the old can fire from the high tier IFBs and other vehicles that are able to have some high penetrating ammo options for their main auto cannon. However, I mean, this battle so far is not going too well, but destruction wise I think I'm doing decent. Uh, eight destroyed vehicles okay 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 that's a uh, not not bad i would say might even have a better battle than with the last video of course the last it was just gameplay and this is gameplay guide so i'm basically going a bit in depth about this vehicle and honestly i don't really have anything else to complain about the amex 32 has almost forgot to mention it has fantastic gun depression so you are you are able to take advantage of some very sneaky positions so you're able to take advantage of hold down positions really well 
That was a revenge bomber and that's a revenge pipe. Two of them were heading my way, of course they are. But yeah, a hold down works really well for this vehicle. And the gun depression is amazing. It's fast both forward and backwards, which is really important for a hull down because uh, when you shoot you will be able to quickly go back to cover. The reload is okay, it's decent. Obviously not, not as fast as a autoloader, but it's not slow, so it's okay, very much, pretty much acceptable, as I would say. And that's the destroy vehicle number number nine. Okay, not bad, not bad. Can you use this vehicle in a more aggressive way? Yeah, obviously it's it's fast, and those vehicles are definitely fantastic for you know for running towards zones and stuff like that. Can you use it as a sniper? Well, yes, you can. However, in top tier. Playing tactical is definitely much more favorable in top tier because we have all sorts of very scary missiles flying around, you also have very scary shells flying around and usually one shot is all it takes for your tank to be destroyed so in top tier you definitely have to adjust to the more tactical approach, have to adjust more towards the more uh, not exactly stealthy approach but you can't just eat. I mean, with, with the jumbo, for example, in, in mid tier and low tier, I can just eat and maybe destroy like six tanks before my tank gets blown up. Well, in top tier, you can eat, but your vehicle will be eaten uh, pretty quickly. So you can't really play top tier the same way you play medium tier or low tier. And that's why I'm saying medium tier and low tier is definitely a lot more fun because you can actually play around more freely. In top tier you pretty much have to play in the same way I'm playing right now. Go to position A, B or C, find a rock, hug, hug the rock, wait for enemy tanks to, to rush, destroy enemy tanks, and then uh, maybe camp more and wait for more enemy tanks, or maybe capture the zone. It depends on the situation, that's the big difference between the top tiers and the lower tiers. Top tier is much more uh, much more serious and less forgiving to mistakes because of the vehicles that are involved in top tier, medium tier, low tier yeah that's where the most fun is at absolutely no denying there that's uh, the story vehicle number 10 and 11 by the way so yeah already a better battle than in the last video so yeah I guess uh, I, I'm not going to complain now I usually try to outdo myself with the next video of the vehicle which honestly uh, gets a bit difficult as time goes on because at one point the battle is so good that it's uh, very difficult to replace or very difficult to actually do better than than that. Can I do more? Yes I can. Uh, recently I had like 18 or 20 destroyed vehicles with the Merkava which was insane. I think I already uploaded that, maybe I didn't, maybe I'll just upload that tonight, so we will see. Uh, depends on the, depends when I upload that, that that's the main thing. Okay, well, that was uh, not bad at all, actually. And this is pretty much what you can expect from this vehicle. Uh, maybe it does feel underwhelming, because we already have a AMX 32 but this is the MX-32 with 120mm main gun, so... I think the, f the first MX has a 105mm main gun, this has a larger caliber, which is very interesting to actually note. Well, 11 destroyed vehicles, I'll take it, that was a good battle. No complaints for me, that was fun. Okay, uh, let's go to the next battle. A lot of players uh, felt a bit underwhelmed by this platoon and honestly, you know, kind of justified because you already have a MX-32 but honestly, at the same time, uh, this vehicle feels different, uh, definitely feels different and as you can see, it slaps, I mean, as I like to say, yeah, it slaps, this tank slaps, no complaints for me. I was uh, 
some very nice that was a very nice battle let's see if I can do another nice battle oh okay I was a little bit too slow or maybe not depends if that vehicle goes out oh it was a rat oh no well there we go rat destroyed and speaking of the vehicle I completely forgot the auxiliary 30 millimeter main 30 millimeter auto cannon which is able to shred light armor vehicles, able to destroy tracks, able to destroy AP gems. It is very nasty. Uh, the old can is nasty and it's very good. I definitely recommend that you use the old can alongside the main gun. The old can can, can be good to disable the model light armor vehicles, tracks, stuff like that. So definitely highly recommend it to use the old can. And this position right here is perfect for this vehicle. Since I am able to cover uh, three or four different sides. Which is actually fantastic because I don't have to move much while also having some cover to protect the vehicle from incoming fire. What's that martyr doing over there? Well, that's not going to end well since I took the revenge bomber. Okay, I did I did a hit there, but the murder is still alive, which is fine. That means I ha I'll just have to take the revenge bomber and maybe uh, revenge bomb the murder. We will see. Okay, launching bombs. One bomb for you, one bomb for you, one bomb for you, and I have some rockets for everyone else. Oh, okay. At least one is vehicle. Well, two actually, okay. Not to make to complain about that. Sometimes I absolutely nail it with the revenge bomber, sometimes I don't. It depends on the you know on, on, on the state of the battle. So can get like the can destroy like five vehicles every time with the revenge bomber. I mean, I could if I try, but I don't think that's really necessary every time. If I do that a lot of times in a row, the revenge bombers will be nerfed, and uh, I don't think we want that, so I'm trying to play a little bit easy with the, with the revenge bomber. And we have a... we don't have anything. Okay. The rocks have been in the... in the way of my aim. Alright, so time for me to move a little bit forward. And perhaps change my position to the other position with the... with the rocks, which is right over here. M60, okay, uh, not really sure if I can hit that vehicle, I don't think I can, so, just a little, it's, yeah, okay, I, I was able to hit the vehicle actually, but, this vehicle is a bit flat, uh, the turret is flat, so, it's not as tall as all the other vehicles, that's for sure. Not necessarily a big deal, not necessarily a big problem, but, you know. Oh, and I am running out of ammo. Uh, good thing I checked. It's a ZTZ 59. Okay, well, I'll just have to shoot the ZTZ until it blows up. I don't have any other choice, really. So I'm forced to waste all the ammo. There we go. One AP FSDS shell left. And... Of course, the game wanted me to waste all of my AP shells. Now we're down on the hit shells. They're not bad, but I don't really like them that much, to be honest. They are good, but the AP is just much more powerful. In most cases, that is. A revenge bomber in the sky? No? Okay. 
My Merkava was a revenge bomb a million times when that was originally released. It was really funny. That was terrible aim. If that was an AP shell, yeah, that would be, that would be a destroyed M60, but uh, Heat doesn't really like to do that. And that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Can't really run away from that, so I had to waste all of my AP shells on the, the ZTZ, so... The Revenge Bomber will have to do. Thankfully, it is the, the best Revenge Bomber. And we have... We have... Okay. We managed to destroy that one vehicle, and the second ve vehicle got destroyed as well. And someone else got the kill. Okay. Fair enough. And... That was a miss. Should have been a hit, but okay. It's not a AP shell, and I have some weird ghost ping, I believe. So, yeah, the, the vehicle then the vehicle will be wobbly. And that's very annoying when it happens, but it is what it is. That's my internet. Can't run away from it. Where did my shell go? I don't know, but the leopard still is alive. Oh well, in any case, someone else will probably destroy the leopard. Yeah, someone else will destroy the leopard. Oh well, uh, that was still a good run for uh, for the AMX 32. Honestly, a very fun vehicle to use. And if you like the leopard gameplay and other classic main balloting gameplay, the AMX 32 will uh, do really well as well and it will definitely perform uh, I would say about the same as the Leopard A1, A1, L44 because it has about the same penetration, same speed and all the other stats are generally I would say comparable and similar. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe and with that being said, stay safe and as always I'll see you next time.